We're going to write a blog and newsletter post about how Prompt Perfect makes simple prompts better by using Prompt Perfect. To use Prompt Perfect, if you have it enabled, start your prompt with perfect and then type whatever you want. I'm going to give it a lot of context and detail because I want it to be a good blog post. Let's say concise blog post about how the Prompt Perfect plugin takes simple prompts and adds more context and detail. Um, I'll share a few examples, give a one sentence breakdown on how they are improved, and include a concise intro and conclusion. Here are the examples. So the good thing about using Prompt Perfect is you don't need to overthink your prompt writing. By using Prompt Perfect, we'll take this prompt send it to our plugin and then return a more enhanced version. It may take a minute because it's such a long one, so I'm gonna fast forward. Great, so you can see it spit that out. If you wanna see how the prompt was improved, you can click this drop down. It will give you a breakdown of the way that it has changed. I like all the middle parts. I don't like the intro and outro, so I'm just gonna say, Perfect, make the introduction, conclusion, of the blog post it's concise and to the point as possible. See here, we have a revised intro, revised conclusion. I'm gonna add it to the meet we have up here and we have ourselves a blog post. Uh, you can actually see the blog post slash newsletter post I'll link it here in the description. If you have questions about Prompt Perfect, hit our website or email us at heyo at prompt Our XYZ.